Greetings, everybody. It's your girl, Kiara Washington, and welcome back to Kiara Washington Speaks. On this channel, I really focus on helping everyday people who are not necessarily looking to looking towards getting a degree or maybe in the middle of trying to get a degree actually land a job and doing some type of retail cellular sales. Now, I've been in retail sales for this makes my sixth year. I currently work for AT&T as a sales executive mobility um, partner now, and I've had technically four positions in the last five years. So that says enough of really all that it needs to say. However, I also want to just give you all a couple of quick tools and tips, really tips that I believe will be very helpful in helping you to become successful in moving from an inside sales store rep to a business account manager or business rep. Greetings, everybody. It's your girl, Kiara Washington, and welcome back to Kiara Washington Speaks. On this channel, I really focus on helping everyday people who are not necessarily looking, to, looking towards getting a degree or maybe in the middle of trying to get a degree actually land a job and doing some type of retail cellular sales. Now, I've been in retail sales for, this makes my sixth year. I currently work for AT&T as a sales executive mobility um, partner now. And I've had technically four positions in the last five years. So that says enough of really all that it needs to say. However, I also want to just give you all a couple of quick tools and tips, really tips, that I believe will be very helpful in helping you to become successful in moving from an inside sales store rep to a business account manager or business rep. Okay, so the first tip is very simple. And the first tip is simply this, think outside the box, okay? When it comes to getting yourself out of the retail location and getting a promotion, Think outside the box. And the reason why I say that is because what you'll come to learn is most of the people who are in the retail store, and I'm saying most, not all, most of them are complacent. Most of them think of their job as I come to work, I do my job, I leave. I get it. Been there, done that. And sometimes it's just like that. However, if you want to get promoted, you want to make more money, you want to have more freedom and not have to stay in a location for eight, nine, 10 hours per day and you wanna have the ability to work either hybrid or fully remote, you gotta think outside the box and you have to be willing to be optimistic while you're at an entry level position. Okay, so the first tip is very simple. And the first tip is simply this, think outside the box, okay? When it comes to getting yourself out of the retail location and getting a promotion, Think outside the box. And the reason why I say that is because what you'll come to learn is most of the people who are in the retail store, and I'm saying most, not all, most of them are complacent. Most of them think of their job as I come to work, I do my job, I leave. I get it. Been there, done that. And sometimes it's just like that. However, if you want to get promoted, you want to make more money, you want to have more freedom and not have to stay in a location for eight, nine, 10 hours per day and you want to have the ability to work either hybrid or fully remote, you got to think outside the box and you have to be willing to be optimistic while you're at an entry level position. Now, I'm not saying be cheesy, but be optimistic. Have a proper mindset. Have a positive mindset. You all ha always have your days where you don't feel 100%, but remember why you're here, okay? Focus on why you're here and doing what you need to do in order to move to the next level. Okay, tip number two. Tip number two is always have your story on ready mode. Now, what do I mean by this? I mean, when it comes to working in a retail, cellular sales, or any type of sales environment, what you'll learn, especially on a retail level, is they will always have visitors. These visitors can be all the way from the VP of communications down to other managers from other local lo they can, uh, local, lo local locations or just different type of supervisors or people who have done the job you're doing and can possibly be a good network for you to help you move forward. The reason why I say have your story on ready mode and have your story ready to go is because one story, one question I remember being asked often was, how did you get into sales? 
How long have you been here? What made you come over to Verizon or AT&T? You have to have this story on ready mode because people want to know why you're here. Granted, as I mentioned before, folks always know you're here for the money. They get that. They understand money is key. We work these jobs because we want to have a certain type of lifestyle. However, people want to know about you. They want to know about your character. They want to know what you think. They want to know your mindset. They want to know your background. And this is important because this helps build relationships. A caveat to that is even when it comes to direct sales with you and your customer base, what you will learn and what I definitely have learned over these last nearly six years, people buy from people they like. People also buy from people that they feel a connection and relation to. If they feel that you are relatable, understanding, compassionate, even if they don't buy then and there, when they are ready, they will think of you. When their friends and their other uh, network, network of people they know are ready, they're going to refer you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to speak your name. So always use your story to captivate people into their relationships. Okay, next, remain teachable. One of the biggest things that I know for a fact has helped me become successful in being able to navigate through my sales career is I've always had a teachable spirit. I realized that once you become a coachable person, you become a teachable person, it means that you have the ability to be objective to what's being said to you. One thing that certain people, especially people who may be high performance people, what you'll learn about some of them is they split off into about two categories. You have the high performance people who are always going to do it their way. You have the high performance people who listen and are coachable and they continue to excel and grow. You want to be on the end of the person who listens, who can take constructive criticism and apply that constructive criticism so that you can be able to navigate and move to the next level. Please don't become like those people who think they know it all. Don't be a part of that crowd. Remain teachable. Remain approachable. Because here's the thing, too. Especially when it comes to your direct supervisors, if they believe that you are a coachable person and you are an approachable person, a lot of times when they leave or they go on their leaves or vacations, they'll leave you as one of the people to be in charge, which is something you can speak to when it comes to your next interview, your next promotion. You know, when you start to interview for that next promotional role, you want to be able to say, when my manager tends to go out on vacation or I don't leave, I am the go-to person who helps support the team to be able to keep everything together while they're out. You want to be able to speak to that. So remain coachable, remain teachable. Okay, y'all. Last one is this. This is the tried and true tip that I have to give to you all if you're really trying to navigate into an account manager business role. This also would apply to any type of job you're trying to do. It doesn't have to pertain to wireless or telecommunications. It can be for anything. Network with the people who are crushing it. Let me say that again. Reach out, network with the people who are doing well, whose numbers are consistently strong, and those people who are always delivering. The reason why I say that is, in my experience in being in sales in general, I've always made it my business to connect with people who do extremely well. Now, what that doesn't mean is, I, it doesn't mean I don't have to do the work, right? I still have to prospect, I still have to call, I still have to email, I still have to reach out, I still have to do what's required of me. However, it is always good to hear and listen to the strategies and tools that certain high performance people are using to be able to implement those things into your daily task of prospecting and trying to grow your business, right? The reason why you really want to focus on high performance people who are doing well is because here's what you'll also learn. Most of those people who do well in a company and they're consistently at the top 5, 10, 15, 20%, those people most of the time are really nice people. They're really kind people. They're really open people. One thing I heard, I believe it was Gary B. And I like Gary Vee. He's, he's great. He said this a while ago in a video I was watching. He said, I give out a lot of great information, life changing information that will change people's lives. But I know for a fact that 85 percent or he think he said 85 or 90 percent of people who listen to me won't do anything. It's going to be that five or 10 percent that are actually going to do something. So here's the thing. Of course, it still comes down to what you do, but always reach out to try to learn all that you can learn while you're in the positions that you're in. So you all, those are the four 
tips that I really believe will help you if you want to transition and get promoted. I said this in the last video I did. I say this often. Really focus on what your personal goals are. I am not by any means saying don't help people. You definitely want to help people. You definitely want to be a resource to people when you can. But one of the things I learned is you have to learn how to put things in their perspective places. And you have to learn how to never take your eye off the ball when it comes to progression and growth. If you happen to be a single person such as myself, and you happen to be a person like me who doesn't have children, I will say this, and I learned this, and I'm learning this older I get, you have to have a different mindset just because it's just you. And with that being said, it doesn't mean that your life is either harder or easier than other people. What it means is it's just you. So focus on the things that are important to you that you need to move forward. People who have children and are married, they have each other, right? They have children. And in certain instances, maybe they have more responsibility. But the thing is, they have a unit. With you being yourself, all you really have to focus on is you. So the excuses become less and less because it's just you. So don't be the person being in your own way, okay? Also this too, if you realize that where you are now is not a place you wanna be, really start implementing uh, new behaviors and activities to get you out of something. It's very easy to sit in a position and say, I don't like this, I don't like this, but you're not doing anything about it. You have to move forward. You have to move into action. You have to say to yourself, okay, I'm tired of things being this way. I need to make a change and actually make the change, okay? All right, let me know what y'all think. If there are any other topics you want me to create content on, please let me know. Y'all know I'm, I'm on this channel and I'm, I've been saying this for years. I want to do more content. But the reality of it is, is I know that the content that I have put out there has been helpful. You all let me know and I always appreciate it. So if there's anything else that you want me to speak on specifically, put it in the comment section. I will really try to create some content for it for you all in the near future. OK, I'm your girl, Kiara Washington Speaks. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.